Hi, today we're going to be looking at exporting a Next.js app and hosting it on S3 by Amazon Web Services, AWS. And the reason we want to do that is because if your app has only static content and like so no API routes and no server-side logic, then S3 is a cheap, reliable and fast method of storing our content and hosting our content. It doesn't require any services, so we can just host it on S3 and we're good to go. So let's start right in. Right, so the first step is to create the set S3 bucket with the same name as the domain. So click here, create bucket in the S3 service, and we're gonna enter in the domain, the URL that we wanted. So we use test.ecotree-hm.com, which is the, the test I want to do. And we need to remove the block on all public access. And this basically means that we accept that items in the bucket will be public, which is precisely what we want because we're doing a public website. Um, so I have to click yes I know I realize this might result in objects in my bucket being public which is perfectly fine once again and now create the bucket and we can see here it's been correctly created now the second step is going to be to create this CloudFront CDN distribution so we're going to CloudFront create the distribution click on get started and here we're just gonna enter the S3 bucket that we just created start by typing up the name and there we go and we're going to go down and enter the root object as being index.html this is where we're going to put the domain name once we've we're set up correctly that's for later so here the default root object like i said index.html so we're going to create the distribution and now we're going to define the distribution C name and add the certificate. So we start typing the domain name that we want for this distribution. And now we're going to request or import a certificate when you set it as custom and then start typing the domain. Now I already have this, um, or I've already created it, but we can also request one and then we, so we can type in the name that we want, test.ecotreehm.com once again. Um, and so we type it in and then type next once we've typed in correctly we since the domain is managed by root 53 it's fairly easy to use a dns certificate here i have it already so it's it's fine we've, we're done and i have the ssl certificate here now in root 53 we want to point the domain to the distribution so we go into root 53 and we create a record and just type in the so it's the test part uh, that we're setting up and we want to set up an, an alias and we're going to the CloudFront distribution and in the CloudFront distribution we have different regions but there's only one that's valid um, we it will be selected automatically linked with the CNAME we'll create the record and now what we want to do is just test it and it's I think probably not going to work because I'm not sure I've uploaded anything yet yeah right there's no files there yet so the first thing we want to do now is to export the Next.js app and to upload the files to S3 so let's go yarn export and it's going to build and it's going to create the files in the out folder there we go so if we go into see in the out folder and let's just list the files that are in there as you can see they all have .html files now let's list what's the in the contents of the folder I created the bucket I created just to make sure so test.ecotree-hm.com once again and okay i need to add the profile profile equals ecotree there we go and that's going to show okay there's nothing there so i'm just going to rename that re change the ls list to cp for copy and we're going to copy from the current directory that's what the dot means there and i'm going to add a recursive argument so it'll update all the folders also and there we go Okay, so now let's test this. Yep, that's working f perfectly fine. Uh, and if we go down, we can select a category. And this is a dynamic route. Um, and it updates fine here, but if I reload it, it's not going to work. Um, and this is linked to the way it's hosted on S3. 
uh, if we go into the, the the category folder and check um, it's all the files that are actually being created with an HTML file um, so if I reload that with the HTML it loads fine but now I want to set up the training slash to true in the next.js config and then I want to export with a script which is going to correct the problem that we have here so if we go into next config and set the training slash to true there we go now what I want to do is re-export there we go now it's exported and I'm going to check in the folders if we go in the categories now each has each category has a folder within which there's an index.html now if we go back up to the root of the of this and push it up to the um, S3 and now we have um, if we check with the the path by adding index HTML that's fine we have the, the the content that's shown now we can run this script here now in this script we define the S3 bucket and the profile that we're using now the first line now that we have underneath I usually have the export uh, but I've commented it out here for the moment because I just want to uh, do the copy of the files now I have two lines here which are very similar one actually excludes all the HTML and the git content and it sets the rights to be public and it has a setting on the cache control of an age of about one year I think that's what it is so I'll upload everything except for the HTML and the git content now the second line uploads the HTML and has a age of um, 10 minutes now and what this file does here it, it lists all the HTML files and it basically copies the file names with uh, folder name slash index dot HTML to a folder so it only has the folder name so if we have like category one slash index dot HTML it'll copy it to just category one without the training slash um, and so this does that here this copies the full file name to the shorter file name without the index and here I should really add the cache control here into the command there we go and let's just try that out and run this and there okay so you can see the I've started executing and you can see the, the commands it's it's logging what's happening so here if we take an example here for example there we go we can see that if we take the full file name with there's a slash dot index HTML and it's copying to the same path without the slash index HTML so if we look at this here if we just look at the fault the URL we had before and now that loads perfectly fine right well that's it from me I hope that was useful. If it was, feel free to hit that like button. Make sure you remember to subscribe and sign up for notifications. And hope to see you soon.